After a season of competition across the USA, the PGA Junior League Golf Championship Finals took place at the Disney World Resort in Florida. The PGA Initiative sees teams of boys and girls under the age of 13 come together to represent their states. PGA Junior League Golf is golf's version of Little League Baseball, uh, just like every other uh, sport that children play as a team growing up, recreation, fun, inclusive, um, on teams, playing in a fun scramble format, everyone receives uniforms with numbers on the back, and really it's a great way to get kids involved in the sport of golf. PGA Reach, the PGA's charitable foundation, really makes sure that golf is a game for all. And so PGA Junior League Golf, our foundation, helps support those that might not be able to afford the opportunity to participate. So really, Junior League Golf is as inclusive of a game as it can be. Um, we're providing scholarship access for those that might not be able to afford, and they're all interacting, playing with teams within their own neighborhoods. So uh, fun and exciting, and we're, it's always great to see kids smiling on the golf course. PGA has attracted three superstars to be ambassadors for the Junior Golf League. Rory McIlroy, Michelle Wee and Ricky Fowler. I'm excited to be an ambassador for junior, the PGA Junior League Golf. Uh, for me, I've always wanted to be able to give back to the younger generation. Um, junior Golf was so close to my heart and, and the, the tournaments that I got to play and, and how I came up as a junior and, and how it helped develop me as a player. It's uh, something I look forward to spending time with the kids and, and watching them grow. Each team is captained by a PGA or LPGA professional who teaches the values within the sport but also creates an environment where the children enjoy being part of a team that's inclusive. What's been really exciting about PGA Junior League Golf is the excitement it brings around the local golf course during the regular season. So just like many other youth sports where siblings and grandparents are coming out to watch uh, and, and cheer their, their friends on, um, Junior League Golf's done the same thing. It's, it's helped generate real enthusiasm at golf courses, um, all captained by PGA professionals. So our, our captains and our members really are the leaders of creating that fun and, and exciting atmosphere at their golf course through PGA Junior League Golf. PGA Junior League is played in a unique scramble format where substitutions can be made every three holes and it makes for an exciting watch. The format, the two-person scramble format is so fun. I'm telling you, anybody out there that doesn't have a team at their club should get the team at their club next year because this is the most fun you're ever going to have. Absolutely. Well, team golf is, a, is just a fun way to go out, have fun with your friends, um, create competition that's somewhat lighthearted, but uh, also helps develop so many different skills uh, with the game of golf and things that you can use on the golf course and also off. After three days of competition, Team California and Team Georgia played out the championship match on a morning full of great parts. Fantastic approach play was there and unbeatable team spirit as well. The two teams couldn't be split in regulation play, which left Team California's number one player, Grando Nishiba, with this monster putt to win the playoff. On the first nine, um, I had that exact same putt, and I lipped out just, just right of it. So I just read it a little bit less and gave it, gave it a firm push, and then it went in. It's like not really usual to play as a team, in golf, so I think it's, it's pretty special. Just to uh, grow the game, uh, see these kids get excited about playing golf, see that twinkle in their eye when they make their first birdie, you know. These guys are making eagles. I mean, this is awesome. These kids really, I mean, Georgia, I really congratulate Georgia. They played really good golf. Sportsmanship to the very end, but it's Team California who'll have the trophy until next year.